Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you um, the guns that I have gold on um, uh, on this game. So right now I got this gun gold, the Ram 7, but in real life this gun is called the Tavor X95. It was made um, in Israel, it's a Jew gun. Uh, it's pretty good, you know, uh, a lot of people like it used by a couple military countries and like uh very popular in the civilian market as well next i got uh the grau also i got that gold now this gun here in real life this is the sig uh 553 but you can um change out the barrels and the stock and stuff to turn into like the 55 like six and like the 554 and the 550 uh, this gun was made in Switzerland by Sig Sauer, um, or should I say Swiss Arms, which then broke off into both Swiss Arms and Sig Sauer. Sig Sauer is now American, and Swiss Arms is, you know, Swiss, but it's got, uh, this was before, I think, the company split. This is a good gun in real life as well. Uh, short stroke gas system, one of the most reliable, uh, operating systems in the gun world. Aside from long stroke gas piston, but this isn't bad either. Uh, next, <coughs> next I got the um, the M4. Uh, that's gold as well. This gun you guys already know about it. This came from uh, Eugene Stoner. He invented the AR-15 platform, so he made the M16 and the uh, AR-10 based off of that, which is direct gas impingement, which is not you know the most reliable but it's also pretty good can't complain most popular automatic rifle in the world i think um to go along with this gun uh eugene Stoner made a new cartridge the 5.56 by 45 um it's a pretty good cartridge used pretty much by everybody around the world so you know eugene stone was american he kind of set the bar for you know military rifles and such he um yeah, and now NATO uh, has standardized the 5.56 all over the world, so it's a pretty good gun, pretty good cartridge as well. The M4 is actually a smaller version of the M16. Uh, yeah, let's see, what else do I have gold? We got the PP19 Bison gold. Now this gun, uh, made by Mikhail Kalashnikov, in Russia it's I don't know if any of you uh, eagle-eye you know gamers notice that it looks a lot like an AK-47 because it is it's pretty much an AK-47 chambered in uh, either 9 millimeter Parabellum or 9 millimeter Makarov uh, you can see it has a nice helical magazine yeah, but yeah it's pretty much just an AK with a helical mag it could be you know, it, it, it's comparable to the uh, the Vitya's, which is a 9mm AK, but just, you know, without the helical magazine. This is kind of a crazy gun. I'm a really big fan of it. I, I believe it's a, I think it's a direct blowback, which is, you know, pretty common for um, SMGs. You're not really going to see a gas system on them. Uh, let's see, what else do I have gold? Oh, the MP5 as well. We all know this. The HK MP5 made in Germany uh, with the uh, really HK you know patented uh, roller delayed blowback system which is like normal direct blowback except there's like rollers that like lock in to to give the cartridge enough time to you know drop to a uh, <coughs> to a drop to a safe pressure otherwise the cartridges would just be exploding outside of the gun as they're being ejected yeah, so I got this gun gold. It's pretty good. I got all the shotguns gold. Okay, all I got platinum. This is the model 680 uh, in the game, also known as the Remington 870 in real life. Really good shotgun, really reliable. You know, made by Remington, an American company. Not a whole lot else to say about it. The, the, the R90 DP12 in real life, made by Standard Manufacturing. Kind of a crazy gun. Double barrel shotgun, really cool. And then a 725, just, you know, classic over-under shotgun. Again, not a whole lot to say about it. The Origin 12, made by uh, Fostech. This is a semi-automatic uh, shotgun. 
uh, with a magazine. Pretty cool. One of my favorites uh, in real life as well. Not Again, not a whole lot else to say about it. Look at that. The fucking VLK Rogue, which in real life is called the uh, M26. I don't remember what company makes it, but it's like the idea is that you should be able to mount it under the barrel of your M4. That's kind of what it was, you know, designed for. It's a bolt action, as you can see. Magazine fed, 12 gauge, classic. Again, not a whole lot else to say about it. Yeah, I got these, all these are platinum. Full, you know, full level uh, LMGs. I got the first two, PKM. Uh, again, Mikhail Kalashnikov in Russia. Pretty much just an LMG version of the AK in a 762x54R. Really powerful cartridge, comparable to the American 30-06. Really awesome. Uh, fun fact, the 762x54R is the longest serving uh, military cartridge in the world. <coughs> so that's really dope. Um, everybody likes it. So yeah, Russians make kind of good stuff. I won't cap. Next, we're looking at the SA87, which in real life is the um, the, the Lee Enfield uh, L86. This is an, uh, an LMG version of the L85. Um, yeah, this is probably the worst gun to have ever existed in the world uh, at any time. I mean, they did fix it in the A2 version, but, I mean, you really can't get over it because the first one, the firing pin would break, you know, uh, it was really inaccurate, super unreliable, could not handle sand at all. Um, yeah, and it was just a bunch of other problems with it as well. It's just absolute garbage. So I would not recommend, if you see this in real life, I would recommend, you know, passing it up. Don't don't pick it up. Don't even think about it. Really garbage gun. Really trash. The the UK doesn't really know how to make guns, so not really too surprised. Uh, I'm working on the rest of them here. I'm working on the M249, the G36, and the MG34. Marksman's rifles, let's see. Got the SKS. S SKS is gold. Yeah, um, similarly, it's a really good gun uh, in real life. Really popular with the um, the civilian market because it's super customizable. You can pretty much change this thing to be anything you want. You could change it into like a sniper rifle, into like a short uh, short barrel rifle, a pistol, um, and, and everything in between. Really, you know, really good stuff. 7.62 by 39, same as the AK. Um, as you can see, it uses AK type mags but it has a little extension tab at the front because originally this gun was designed to shoot from an internal magazine not a detachable magazine but the probably the number one modification that people make to these guns when they buy them is they change them out to detachable magazines so that's that's a really common really common thing sniper rifles not the sniper rifles gold yet uh, i'm working on it and you know melee I, i'm not going to get the shield gold i don't think uh, anytime soon It'd be kind of like a, a bitch move to do that i hate people who use the riot shield in this game absolute worst players let's see in secondaries got a couple pistols gold i think like two yeah the 357 all right you guys can see me there um i don't know exactly what this is modeled after it looks extremely familiar I don't want to say it's a Colt Python, even though the barrel really reminds me of the Python. Uh, I think this is a Smith & Wesson kind of deal. I don't know. Uh, you guys have to let me know in the comments if you guys know this more than I do, uh, which I would doubt, but, you know. Uh, next, we got the so-called Renetti, you know, Italian-sounding name. Sounds kind of like Beretta, which is what this gun is. This is a Beretta M9A3. Uh, really cool pistol in real life. Uh, it was serving in the military right after the 1911 and then got dropped recently for the uh, the new pistol, the C uh, M320. I'm sorry, P320, which in the game is called the M19. Uh, military designation of this is the M17 for the standard length barrel and then the M18 for the, uh, the short barrel. But yeah, uh, M17 slash SIG P320. Um, fun fact that these guns originally they had a problem where if you dropped a loaded gun, it would it, it would go off. Uh, sometimes, like on the back here, if you hit the uh, the back of the gun with like a hammer, like that was just an experiment. But if you like drop it, it'll go off. Or I used to. I'm not going to say that anymore. 
Uh, I believe those are the all the guns I got gold at the moment. Oh, wait, I forgot one. I just got a gold today. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, wait, we already talked about that. Never mind. Uh, what I'm working on right now is the bison. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, let me show you my bison setup real quick. This is kind of what I got going on right now. Uh, I kind of just need... No. Yeah. I kind of just need some more long shot kills. I just need 14 more long shot kills and this gun will be gold. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for tuning in to 9 Niggas Knowing TV. Thanks.